What is up guys, today I'm going to show you how to download uh, PS Vita games on your custom firmware hacked PS Vita and first thing I want to mention is that you need to make sure that you have H Encore installed I'll show you a link in the description of how to install the custom firmware um, which I made a previous video about that and because this isn't a permanent custom firmware, we always have to install Henkaku every time the PS Vita is powered off or if you press the power standby button then you have to go back into this menu, install Henkaku, press X, success, then exit. So you should have Vita Shell installed when you have installed um, the custom firmware. So we need to click on the Vita Shell. I've already got the PKG J file installed here, but I'm going to show you how to install it or download and install it manually, as well as the no NPDRM. So we need to switch this to FTP. Change the USB device to memory card. Select button is FTP, which is already set, so we don't need to change that. Press select, and then this will give you a FTP um, link, which is the 192.168.1.118. And the 337. Um, this may vary for you, this might not be the same, so just be cautious of that. So, this is now hooked up to our PC, um, yeah, so you need to make sure your cable is connected when you do this, and that you have Content Manager installed and all the Vita drivers, well, the Vita driver installed on your PC. You also need to use the software called File. Filezilla, which I'll show you. We're going to switch to the PC and then I'll show you how um, to transfer the files. Alright, so we are on the PC now. Before we do anything, I'm going to show you the links where to download the PKGJ file. Um, so here's the link, the github.com. I'll put a link in the description below. Uh, you want to pick the latest version, which is that one. Scroll down here, click on the VPK file, then it's downloaded. I already have all my files here. So there's the PKGG, PKGJ file that we need. And then we also need the non-PDRM. Um, this is the GitHub page for no NPDRM version 1.2. Again, click on that to download, and it will download. And additionally, if you want to play PSP games and PS1 games, then you need to download Adrenaline. Um, so this is the Adrenaline VPK file, so you can download that here. So here are two, two of the files that we need, that we need to transfer to our PS Vita. Ignore the rest of this. This is the Vita driver and custom firmware. You don't need to worry about that. That was from the previous tutorial of how to install the custom firmware. But for now, we just need to focus on these two. Open up FileZilla, which is the software you need to connect to your Vita to transfer data. Click on the host and don't forget the, uh, the link. 1.118 and then it will say insecure network we'll just press ok now you need to locate to ux0 file and then and we don't need to go to apps we can just transfer this straight to here 
think I have, yes, I have these in my Vita shell uh, subfolder in the UX0 folder. So I put these here. Um, I could probably put the no DRM in there as well. So all you need to do is drag and drop the files somewhere that you'll remember, but I put them in my Vita shell in the UX0 folder. Um, I'm gonna put adrenaline in there as well. So you have adrenaline for the PSP, PS1 games, the no NPDRM which you need to play backup games, the PKG J file which this is the application to download your PS Vita games without having to transfer manually. Um, you know, this is another way to transfer games. You can pre-install, like, download the games on your PC, and then manually put games in the app folder, as well as whatever DLC, which would be in another folder, and patches. So these are basically games already installed. Um, it doesn't come up with the names; it just comes up with the the ID, game ID. So this is where all the games are stored. So you can transfer these manually again, but we're going to use the PKGJ um, application to download them. So they're both transferred. Now we can go back onto our PS Vita. Okay, back onto the PS Vita and press X to minimize the link and then go into UX0 folder remember I put those files into my Vita shell and now I'm just gonna install adrenaline anyway install this packet packet request extensions but yep press OK that's now installed no DRM I, I, oh, I transferred the wrong one. I need to transfer the v, VPK file. Um, we can get this from the auto plugin store. I've already installed this, but we're going to install it again. Oh, we don't need to install it, but this is how you install the PKG J file. So once that's done, we can go back. Um, I messed up with the VPK file for the no DRM, but I'm just going to quickly show you on the auto plugins. I'm using auto plugins too. You can also download the no NP DRM here. So it's just doing some updates. It's all updated. Let's click on. Vita plugins, find the no DRM, which should be under N. As you can see, I already have that installed, but this is also where you can install this without manually downloading the VPK file. We can just exit off that now. Now open the PKGJ file. You might not have this list right here. If you don't have this list, go under, uh, you can choose which um, region you want. Um, press refresh and then this should give you a list of all the games. I have heard that some people um, have this error that comes up. And if that happens, then um, it's worth trying to reset your router or your modem for this to refresh. Usually it means um, there's something wrong with your Wi-Fi. But it's working now. Um, we don't need to mess around with the config file. And that's already done for you on the later versions. So press try and go to go on the options and then we can select what games show up. I think I've clicked on Vita games. So let's just download a really small game.
probably the age of the age of zombies. Pretty small. Abs animals. It's only 52. And as you can see, there's different regions. This is all region free, so you can literally just download any of these. So install game. Press X. It will say installation of abs animals queue to the live area. Press OK. If you press the home button, click on here, and then you can see that this is now downloading. Now, once you install the game, if you don't see it on your home menu, then I would recommend just going back to Vita Shell. Just gonna wait until this finishes. And this has come up automatically. So there's the game, but if the game, once you install it, if there's any errors, um, you can go back to your Vita Show and then press start, it will close the VPKG. All we need to do is refresh, go back into your root menu, press triangle, live area, press OK, and this should refresh all the games that you had downloaded. So we can X off that. Go into the game, press start, and there we go. Now I've tested a few games and most of them the online works fine and I'm using my main account and and um, I've not had any warning or I've ne never been banned so um, it's safe to say that you can use your main account for playing backup games but I'd recommend not using any cheats or any trophy hacks just in case your account does get flagged up and then you're more likely to get banned on your main account if you start messing around with the game or glitching it or whatnot. Downloading and playing these backups it's totally fine on your main account um, there's no reason for them to ban you or I don't think they can see that you're playing copied ones but yeah there we go this is kind of cute, I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing here. It's kind of like cats and dogs. And I just got a trophy. That's cool. Oh. If there's any um, DLC you can also add the DLC under the PKGG file so um, that is it guys that is how you download backup games from your custom firmware hacked Peter. So I hope this tutorial has helped you guys and I'll see you again in another video